You'll hear people talking in eight different situations. For questions one to eight, choose the best answer A, B, or C. One. You hear a man talking on the phone to a computer technician. Why has he called? A. To make a complaint. B. To ask for some advice. C. To apologize for a mistake. The problem is that whenever I switch it on, it takes a long time to start up. Perhaps fifteen or twenty minutes. This didn't used to happen, and I think it started when all the electricity went off during that really bad thunderstorm last month, and the programs I was running all ended suddenly. I know everything's supposed to be closed down properly, so that was probably the cause. Anyway, what I was wondering was whether I can sort this out myself, and if so, how, or whether it'll need to be repaired. I've really got to do something soon. The kids are complaining about how long it takes to load their computer games. The problem is that whenever I switch it on, it takes a long time to start up. Perhaps fifteen or twenty minutes. This didn't used to happen, and I think it started when all the electricity went off during that really bad thunderstorm last month, and the programs I was running all ended suddenly. I know everything's supposed to be closed down properly, so that was probably the cause. Anyway, what I was wondering was whether I can sort this out myself, and if so, how, or whether it'll need to be repaired. I've really got to do something soon. The kids are complaining about how long it takes to load their computer games. Two. You hear a teenager talking about the summer job he does. How does he usually feel when he is working? A. Bored. B. Tired. C. Relaxed. My friends keep saying how dull and repetitive their jobs are. How they're watching the clock all the time and just thinking about the evening, but I don't feel that way about mine. I suppose it's because I'm working with people all day, showing them around the town centre and telling them about its history, so I don't have the time to get bored. But there's no hurry to do anything, so I never feel stressed either, because in this job I can take it easy. The hours are quite long, and some people might find that tiring, but I don't. My friends keep saying how dull and repetitive their jobs are, how they're watching the clock all the time and just thinking about the evening. But I don't feel that way about mine. I suppose it's because I'm working with people all day, showing them around the town centre and telling them about its history, so I don't have the time to get bored. But there's no hurry to do anything, so I never feel stressed either, because in this job I can take it easy. The hours are quite long, and some people might find that tiring, but I don't. Three. You overhear a young man talking to a friend. What does he regret? A. Not telling the truth. B. Not spending enough. C. Not staying at home. The evening started well, and I'm glad I didn't miss that part of it. I was out with Ben Francis and his friends, and although they were older than me and had lots more money, we all got on fine. We went to some great places in town, and then Ben suggested having dinner at Harvey's. You know that really smart restaurant overlooking the river. On our way there. Ben asked if I could afford it, and I told him I had plenty of money on me. Though later on, I wished I hadn't said that. Anyway, I forgot all about it and had a really fantastic meal. But when I saw the bill, I just couldn't believe it. There was no way I could pay my share of that. 
the evening started well, and I'm glad I didn't miss that part of it. I was out with Ben Francis and his friends, and although they were older than me and had lots more money, we all got on fine. We went to some great places in town, and then Ben suggested having dinner at Harvey's, you know, that really smart restaurant overlooking the river. On our way there, Ben asked if I could afford it, and I told him I had plenty of money on me, though later on I wished I hadn't said that. Anyway, I forgot all about it and had a really fantastic meal. But when I saw the bill, I just couldn't believe it. There was no way I could pay my share of that. Four. You hear two people talking. How does the man feel now? A. Very relieved. B. Highly amused. C. Quite worried. So, in the end, did you find out what had happened to your car? Yes, but it took me several phone calls to find out that it had been taken away by the police because it was badly parked. I've got it back now. So, you can relax now, right? Definitely. It's just as well that it hadn't been stolen. That's what was really worrying me. It's not insured for theft. What did your friends say about it? <laughs> they laughed when I told them. But I had to pay a big fine, and it also cost me a taxi fare. I can't say I thought it was very funny. So, in the end, did you find out what had happened to your car? Yes, but it took me several phone calls to find out that it had been taken away by the police because it was badly parked. I've got it back now. So, you can relax now, right? Definitely. It's just as well that it hadn't been stolen. That's what was really worrying me. It's not insured for theft. What did your friends say about it? <laughs> they laughed when I told them. But I had to pay a big fine, and it also cost me a taxi fare. I can't say I thought it was very funny. Five. You switch on the radio during a programme. What is the programme about? A. Wildlife. B. History. C. Farming. In the late 19th and early 20th century, the entire wolf population disappeared from this part of the country, in most cases shot by farmers protecting their sheep and other livestock. Now, however, there is a plan to reintroduce these marvellous creatures, not least because scientists say they play an important role in maintaining the ecological balance of regions like this. Perhaps not surprisingly, though, not everyone is happy about this proposal, with strong opposition coming from local nature groups, who see them as a serious threat to the red deer population in forest areas. In the late 19th and early 20th century, the entire wolf population disappeared from this part of the country, in most cases shot by farmers protecting their sheep and other livestock. Now, however, there is a plan to reintroduce these marvellous creatures, not least because scientists say they play an important role in maintaining the ecological balance of regions like this. Perhaps not surprisingly, though, not everyone is happy about this proposal, with strong opposition coming from local nature groups, who see them as a serious threat to the red deer population in forest areas. 6. You turn on the radio and hear part of a play. Where is the scene taking place? A. In a railway station. B. In the street. C. On a bus. Don't look now, but there's a man quite close behind you. He's just got on, I think. What's he doing? 
He's talking into his phone at the moment, but he keeps looking at you. Is it the same guy who was following us down the road earlier? I'm not sure. But if there was anyone following you, that is. There definitely was. And in case it's him again, we'd better get off at the next stop, split up and head for the station. I'll meet you on Platform 9 in about 20 minutes. Make sure you're not followed. Don't look now, but there's a man quite close behind you. He's just got on, I think. What's he doing? He's talking into his phone at the moment, but he keeps looking at you. Is it the same guy who was following us down the road earlier? I'm not sure. But if there was anyone following you, that is... There definitely was. And in case it's him again, we'd better get off at the next stop, split up and head for the station. I'll meet you on Platform 9 in about 20 minutes. Make sure you're not followed. Seven. You hear a teenager talking on the phone about where she lives now. What does she think of her new home? A. It's like her previous house. B. It's too far from her school. C. It's difficult to get used to. I suppose it was a bit strange at first, after spending all my life in just one house, but that soon passed. Actually, I'm feeling quite at home here now, though I wish it was a bit closer to everything, particularly the shops and the cinemas and all the other places I used to go with my friends. And school, of course. But the area's not all that different to where I grew up, with two very nice parks within easy walking distance. And for the first time, we've got a little garden. The house is bigger too, so my sisters and I all have our own rooms. That's a definite improvement. I suppose it was a bit strange at first, after spending all my life in just one house, but that soon passed. Actually, I'm feeling quite at home here now, though I wish it was a bit closer to everything, particularly the shops and the cinemas and all the other places I used to go with my friends. And school, of course. But the area's not all that different to where I grew up, with two very nice parks within easy walking distance, and for the first time, we've got a little garden. The house is bigger too, so my sisters and I all have our own rooms. That's a definite improvement. Eight. You overhear a young man talking about a job he had. Why did he leave work? A. He wanted to travel. B. He didn't like his job. C. His boss sacked him. I'd already been working there for three years, and although I was still getting a lot out of the work, I was starting to feel it was time I saw the world. Most of my friends had taken a year out between school and university to do so, but I'd only been overseas once, and that was just for a fortnight. So I spoke to my line manager and asked him if I could take a year off, but he said the company probably wouldn't allow it. In the end, I decided to resign. He said it was a shame to have to lose me. I'd already been working there for three years, and although I was still getting a lot out of the work, I was starting to feel it was time I saw the world. Most of my friends had taken a year out between school and university to do so, but I'd only been overseas once, and that was just for a fortnight. So I spoke to my line manager and asked him if I could take a year off, but he said the company probably wouldn't allow it. In the end, I decided to resign. He said it was a shame to have to lose me.